Nico, one of the things you said yesterday was, you know, looking forward to seeing how your body would react after your surgery in an actual NHL game. I mean, I see that smile on your face. It, what did that sort of mean to you to get that out here? That was a lot of fun. Um, you know, obviously I was pretty nervous for the first period and getting the first couple shots, but after that I kind of settled into it and settled into the pace of the game and, you know, I'm happy with the way I went. What, what did you feel anything different? I know you've had like a couple games in Utica and practice, but this must have felt a little different. Yeah, I mean, at this level, guys just make plays so much quicker and so much more accurate. So, you know, it's, it's going to, I'm still taking time to adjust, but, you know, it's a, it's a good start. Just the overall performance of the team in front of you, um, especially with your first game in, I guess, a year and a half, two years. I mean, what, what did you see from in front of you and the guys they're supporting? I mean, everybody played fantastic. That was a, it was a full 60-minute effort from everybody, which was, which was huge. And, you know, obviously, I can't take all the credit for the game. They did basically everything. They made my job really easy tonight. So, no, everybody played really well. Was there any part of your movement that surprised you that was so much easier now that you've gone through your rehab and all that? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I think, you know, just anything that involves moving with my hips is just a lot smoother than it used to be and you know it feels uh feels really good when did you find out you were starting tonight yesterday yeah. Yeah. yeah like after just you know the short stint in Utica like where was your confidence level with your body going into the yeah I mean I think you know it's a long rehab and I never really had any doubts about you know being healthy it was more you know wondering how I feel in games and you know it's only been three games in Utica and one here now but you know, through the first little while, my body's felt really good. So, you know, not worried about that. More just, you know, making sure that my game's up to par. I think that's more important. Nico, when did was the last time you felt this good about, you know, the way you feel in net? Yeah, I mean, whew, I don't know. I mean, I've I feel like I've played pretty good in, in Utica. You know, the past year and a half. I so, mean, like physically. Oh, right? physically. Yeah, physically. Oh, physically. Yeah. Whew, it's been a while. <laughs> no, I mean, the the first half of last year, I felt really good, and after that, it kind of. You know, a little bit less, but you know, right now is probably the best I've felt since I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ozzy. Jasper, what can you say about, you know, we've talked so much about winning those 50-50 battles, those finer details. It really looked like you guys dialed in on that, and this is what can happen, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if that had something with the break to do or anything, but uh, obviously we um, got a win last game, but we obviously were far away from, from happy about our performance, and we, we, need, we know we needed to step up, and uh, this was a huge game for us. We we really needed these two points, and um, it was a full team effort. And uh, obviously, Nico played played great in that and helped us out getting this one. What was it like to see him there? I mean, it's been such a long time since he's been in an NHL net. Had that off season surgery. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I mean, obviously, he's been battling to a, a tough surgery, and uh, but he's been doing it great. He, he's a hardworking guy. He's you know, he's a good guy, and uh, I mean, it's great seeing that kind of guy coming coming back, playing some good games, and uh, especially coming up here and. Uh, really helping us out in such an important game. When it comes to the power play, obviously those two in the first period, I mean, how much is that just sort of about getting those reps to get it back on track? Yeah, we feel like last, I don't know how many, we were two for 26 or something like that going into this game, and uh, we felt like we had played played some good hockey on the power play, but it's all about scoring goals and creating momentum. So uh, obviously that last final touch uh, was something that we needed, and uh, I think we, we kept that detail high, and uh, that was, I mean, key to, to us winning today's game. What was the difference? Was it taking more shots? Was it just more, like, how do you sort of describe what the difference was? I think it's obviously, like, everything. We're, we we had a good zone entries. We're, we have poison with the puck. We, we let the puck do the work, and uh, we're getting screens on the uh, screens in front. I mean, on, on Jack's goal, that, that shot doesn't go in if we don't have a net front present, and, that's how that's how puck goes in these days. I don't think anyone celebrated more than your bench when Smitty scored that breakaway goal. I mean, what does it mean to see him score that goal, especially coming out of the penalty box? Yeah, it was great. Obviously, it's been it's been a long ride, and I mean, such a hardworking guy that means so much to to the team when it comes to practice and locker room and games. And uh, obviously, it was great great seeing that, and a lot of a lot of happiness and joy for for the rest of the team for him and uh, so it was a really nice move i was very impressed with it so uh, that made everything a lot better you're going to be urging him to go out there on the shootout if ever yeah i might have to steal that move a little bit so it was a nice nice play thanks Brad oh Smitty, that must have been a very exciting moment for you especially the way your teammates sort of mobbed you when you came back to the yeah day. yeah i think uh, that's that's it's so exciting to have them support me so much and uh, especially at the end of the after the game in the room they were just uh, just as happy as I was so that's uh, it just shows you how great they are and how much they mean to me um, and it just goes full circle like uh, them uh, helping out with that cam jam they're all there to support me and then that so it's just it just says a lot about them and I uh, can't thank them 
I can't thank them enough. That's so that was a good feeling for me, and uh, I don't know what else to say. What were you thinking when you had that break? <laughs> yeah, first of all, I was like, please drop so I can get it. Uh, when Nico made the play, and um, then uh, I just kind of blacked out. But uh, it's uh, it's great when it ends up in the back of the net. It's been a long time coming. Um, normally, your first doesn't come your second year, but uh, for me, I'm, I'm excited about it, and um, it's a great moment. For me, you always remember your first with a club, and uh, that was a good one. So really trying to be excited about it and then yep. flush it and get ready for tomorrow because uh, I think that's the biggest focus right now. And like I said, it's a great point, but the two points is what we really care about. You know, those attention to details as an overall game, those board battles, you know, those 50-50, like it seemed like that was a part of the game overall that everyone really committed to, and this is the difference it can make. Right. I mean, we didn't like our last game. I thought it was sloppy. Um we had some highlight reel goals to get us back into that game and then to, to win it. Um, tonight was a more complete game, and that's what we want to do. Uh, I thought Dozzy played great. I thought he was very competitive. He was big. He, he, he read the game very well, um, so that's huge. And then I think all in all, we did a lot of the right things where we didn't cheat the, the game uh, as much as we have uh, in previous games. So that was great, and it's a good win. Uh, a strong overall performance from your team. We'd have to say a nice 60-minute effort. That's is what Dawson, uh, Nico Dawes was just telling us a few moments ago. What did you take away from your team's effort yeah, tonight? Yeah, you know, I think yeah, when you look at the game in the whole, I thought we got off to a good start. Uh, I like how we played in the first period, and we continued through 60 minutes, which uh, was important. Well, Coach, I have to start with Nico Dawes, just especially after Batherson scored. He just really seemed like that didn't phase him, and he just remained calm and composed. What can you say about his first start? Uh, a great first game. Uh, you know, he probably made three or four game-changing uh, saves that, you know, momentum could have went either way. Uh, the late chance in the second period, and then we turn around and go the other way and score a goal. So uh, a couple of breakdowns where key saves, you know, allowed us to – go the other way and end up uh, putting a puck in their net. We know special teams has been in a real area of emphasis. You talked about that power play last game, maybe some changes in store, but your units get it done here tonight. What can you say about that first period, those two power play goals? Yeah, uh, it's important for us. And I think, you know, the, uh, the confidence uh, to keep those guys together, to give them the opportunity. And I thought they did a lot better job. I think if you look at the penalty killing, the pen penalty killing did a fantastic job tonight. And, Part of it was we got a couple of big saves on the penalty killing that uh, allowed to keep them off the board. Well, it was right before Brendan Smith's breakaway goal. What can you say about those hands? Have a little fun with that one. Yeah, he moved up the uh, shootout ladder for us. So he's probably somewhere in the top three now. Uh, I mean, great goal. It's a, uh, you know, obviously he's, he's been a good penalty killer for us. And to come out of the box and get that one, I was happy for him. Let's bring in the rest of the media now. What were you thinking when you saw him get that breakaway? I knew he was going to score. <laughs> One of the things that we've talked so much about is those 50-50 battles, the wall battles as well. Did you feel that your team was far more committed to that and earning those uh, battles? Uh, overall, I thought it was a lot better night for us in all areas. I think when you look at the battles uh, in the defensive zone, uh, we were good. I thought offensively entering the zone, we did a lot better job managing the puck uh, versus some of the other games we played. And I think you play like that, you give yourself a chance every time. You, you force the team into a 200-foot game. Uh, and I, I still think we can be a little bit tougher to get through in the neutral zone. I thought uh, a couple times we could have got in front of people and stalled them out a little, a little quicker. After a couple of quieter nights, uh, what do you think was the key to getting the Hughes brought to fully line really buzzing and going again today? Uh, you know, just the understanding that I think we, we had perimeter opportunities with that line. Uh, you know, and we talked about what would what would work. Uh, yeah, we we met before the game and talked about some of our offensive zone play, and and I thought they responded.